Hello, it's me, Sky, and welcome to this week's new Arrival Roundup. So, a couple weeks ago, I told y'all that I was not going to do roundups on Fridays. But, <laughs> it's, it's clearly Friday. I take that back. But today, I have a doctor's appointment in like an hour and a half and I'm nervous and I'm stressing and it, it's it, nothing's wrong it's just like a primary care doctor visit or you know it's it's a checkup or something like that and I don't know why I can't stop being anxious about it I mean I do know why I have a probably medical trauma after what has gone on this year but I'm just so scared that I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna think that there's nothing wrong and she's gonna take one look at me and be like we need to run some tests or something I don't know so I'm stressing I'm nervous and I just I just want to look at some pretty pictures with you guys okay so here we are if you sat through all that and you don't know what the roundup is then bless your heart but this <laughs> video we are going to look at what diamond art club has previewed on their social medias over the course of this week to show the kids that are coming out tomorrow saturday a date a date what's what okay tomorrow's november the 23rd okay so tomorrow november the 23rd i got real comfortable with doing this after the fact and i could just say last saturday but now i need to actually know the date anyway these will be coming out tomorrow because of the time that i'm filming before my doctor's appointment obviously not not all the kits have been previewed just yet so I'll have to come back later and I guess report on how my doctor's appointment went but anyway all we're gonna do in this video is just take a look at all of those images that they've previewed and I'll just chat about them and let you know the facts uh, that Diamond Art Club has released like the sizing and if it's square or round and how many colors how many specials all of those types of things so <sighs> Also, the chaos in my household today, uh, my son's upstairs playing video games, and you may hear that. Nugget's barking because the neighbor's having some work done, so there's that. Okay, plan for chaos. Let's go to the other camera. Told you. Okay, I think he's still trying to be mad, but maybe he's done talking for a few minutes. So, we are here on Diamond Art Club's Facebook, and... I guess I could scroll back a little bit and show you this was the last release for last weekend. So this is definitely where we're starting. There's a fly. There's a fly. There's a fly. Nope. I did not get him. He will be back. Okay. Um, Divine Authority by Raven Phelan. It is 20 by 28 inches or 50.6 by 70.7 .7 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 40 colors with three ABs and three fairy dust. There is the gorgeous original image. There is the rendering. I love these. I always love these. I, I just, it's mostly the, the placement of the special drills, which I... I'm just making assumptions, but I mean, there, there looks like some pretty obvious locations here because there are things that are literally glowing. So I feel like the special drills, they're always placed so well in these Raven Phelan kits. And it always just pops right off the canvas. And it's so, so, so pretty. I particularly love the eyes in this one. And I, uh, of course, like all, all the shiny parts, all the shiny parts. Now this I wonder how much is AB and how much is fairy dust as far as, let's see, three ABs and three fairy dust. Well, that, there's really no way to know then, I guess. But I'm just wondering, this looks like there may be a lot of ABs and, and fairy dust, but... At this rate, I'm going to have to go to the doctor before I even get through a couple of kits. But hey, I was, I was doing this as a distraction, and distracted I have been... <laughs> Anyway, I love this one. It is round drill. Or I th I think we're we're kind of over the the pink lines. Like I don't know if I need to even go search for a sneak peek for this one because it's been a couple weeks, two or three weeks, I guess, since we've seen one that was affected by the transfer of the the pink or red lines. So I just I think that maybe that's behind us and we can just reliably say that it's fine. Um I get well <laughs> I might as well look. Why wouldn't I look? Okay, I don't see one. I do I do see the fly. Huh. 
<laughs> okay, so I don't see a sneak peek. I said that, but I I feel like maybe it's a bit early yet. Uh, shipping has been so wild <laughs> this year, so maybe whoever was supposed to get it just hasn't received it yet, and it'll probably pop up before too long. This one does have a sneak peek. Okay, this is Sunflowers in Mason Jars by Susan Wingett. It is 28 by 22 inches or 70.7 by 55.6 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 68 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. This one is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. There is the rendering. I... This week has been even harder than last week for me, and they haven't even previewed everything yet. I really want these. Do you think they do this on purpose? Do you do you think they know? I mean, I guess that they couldn't. They're not catering specifically to me, but it seems like they just they just know. Like we we know everybody's saving money for Black Friday, so why don't we put out just something irresistible so that we still have sales on Saturday? <laughs> I mean, it's genius. It's genius and it's working because I love this. I love this. Uh, this one, I did watch a sneak peek for. It's beautiful. It's uh, the lovely Courtney. I guess since I'm doing this on, um, on Friday, I could actually link the sneak peeks that I have discovered so that you could just go in the description box if you like one of these that we talk about and see a video that shows you the whole kit unboxed if you want to look at that but um yeah maybe i'll do that so just check down below and there will be a link for this kit uh unboxed by courtney from diamonds are a girl's best friend and uh it, it's it's lovely it's lovely she shows where the ab's are placed and it, there's one particularly pretty AB in this one that she showed. And it's, it looked brown, on, I think, but I, she was saying that the color wasn't picking up accurately, that it was more of a deep red that I think is like in the center of these flowers. I'm not sure if that's where it's placed, but I had, had never seen that uh, special drill before. And it was so pretty. It is so pretty. I would want to buy this kit for that alone but it's gorgeous in its entirety i absolutely love it and and no pink line problems with that one <laughs> okay um next is tiger style by puffy gator it is 26 by 22 inches or 66 by 55.6 centimeters it is round drill it has 51 colors with three ab's and four fairy dust I mean, it's a puffy gator. There is just something. There's just something special about puffy gator art. Just something so innocent and magical about these creatures. I, I don't. I, I don't know if I'm uh, putting the right phrasing there uh, to to describe it thoroughly. It's, it's. There's just a special something about these, and then the way that Diamond Art Club renders them is also just stunning and i imagine that this one is no different i have not seen a sneak peek uh for this one that doesn't mean it's not there but i haven't spotted it yet so i'll take a look i also really like the blends in the background for this one i i've been harping on that a lot lately but for some reason that's just been striking my attention and i even like the the little dew drops down here on this plant that's it's just it's just the fine details so well done and of course you, you know it's it's a beautiful tiger <laughs> i love the eyes i love i love everything about it okay this one's beautiful as well hidden in the dark temple by chris ortega it is 25.6 by 35.8 inches or 65 by 90.8 centimeters so this one's pretty large but I, it's it's because of the detail. This one is square drill. The, the he's back. Do you see him? Or he's on the microphone. Ah. Nugget, get him. Get the fly. <laughs> All right, missed him again. Okay. Uh, did I already say yes? It's square drill. It has forty-eight colors with two ABs and three fairy dust. Beautiful. Everybody is always saying we need more men in our diamond art club uh kits and and here we go 
and there's the rendering. Beautiful, beautiful. I can see some really great opportunities for special drills, like all of, all of this intricate design work that looks shiny on his boots and on his jacket. And he like, I guess he's got some chains or something. Lots of little buttons and clasps. And I mean, the sword is kind of shiny too. Maybe it's there. We've got some something pouring out of this cup here that <laughs> might be special drill. Another great background that's nicely shaded, nicely blended. You can't tell where one color ends and another begins. And that's exactly what you'd want to see in, in a kit like this, or in any kit, really. And I, how many special drills did it even say? Two ABs and three fairy dust? Yeah, okay, that's plenty to make all of this pop beautifully. And I, I don't... Would you say that this would be confetti heavy? Like, I almost lean toward confetti because... Do we have an in between? Like it's, I I don't think it's color blocking, but would I say confetti? Because it does look like there's some blocks of color, like some color blocking. But I don't know what what's the in between term? Block fetti? Can we say block fetti? Is, is is that what we're gonna? No, that's stupid. Okay, never mind. Forget I said that. Uh, it would be fun to do. Let's pretend that's what I said to start with. This one is Maverick the Pitbull by Peggy Collins. Peggy Collins shows up almost every week these days, and I'm not mad. It's 25.6 by 25.6 inches. I forgot measurements for a second there. Or 65 by 65 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 43 colors with two ABs and three fairy dust. Look, does look, oh, uh, so pretty. And there's the rendering, which is so true to the original artwork i wouldn't even venture to guess which one of these many colors would be special drills because they all shine and pop equally to my untrained eye but i'm sure that they are placed very strategically by diamond art club's rendering team how many did they even say uh two ab's and three fairy dust okay uh yeah i have no guesses maybe maybe these little whiskers that's my guess <laughs> that it's like a white fairy dust or or maybe an ab i don't know and maybe like right here where it's shining on the top of his little nose oh uh, the eyes are so good uh but before uh we had nugget we had a, a pit bull she has sadly passed away but uh she she didn't look exactly like this dog she had her her ears were cut so that she had the pointy the pointy ears but uh, this still, anything with a pit bull <laughs> reminds me of her. And this one, A Night to Remember by Kim Norlian. It is 35.4 by 27.6 inches or 89.9 by 69.9 centimeters. I, I, you know, I really feel like that's not that big for Kim Norlian pieces, <laughs> I guess. It's square drill. It has 53 colors with two ABs and two fairy dust. Uh, this one this one's another one that i feel like is is planned is targeted to make me spend money when i'm trying to save for black friday but uh it it's gorgeous okay i'll show you the rendering gorgeous i love i love the the sky here the I, anytime I see the northern lights in a diamond painting and I start to call it the Aurora Borealis and, and then I start thinking about the drills are people going to think I'm talking about that this is all ABs up here? No. Okay, so we're just going to say the northern lights. <laughs> Very pretty in the sky, in the background. Those would be some nice color differences between like, I feel like in landscapes, you, you sometimes get tired of greens. There's usually a lot of greens. And there's a point to it because you need all of that to make everything look realistic and look true to the original image. But there's always a lot of green. There's always a lot of brown. I mean, I won't say always, but many times <laughs> that's what you get. And then to be able to have some nice like pastel purples and light blues to be able to work with also. And, and I don't even think there's any flowers. So those will be like the the main bright colors of the piece. And then this fire, please let that be special drills. <laughs> and maybe in the moon too, maybe this brightest color here could be a special drill and probably all the, the stars. 
it it'll be gorgeous it'll be absolutely gorgeous and i love the reflections on the water and it's really not that big for a landscape i mean it it's big it's big yeah i i, I ha would have to say all kinds of qualifying things if i want to try to tell you that's not big because that's big <laughs> but it's beautiful okay here's the mandy manzano <laughs> If you haven't watched the video I put up yesterday on my Diamond Art Club Black Friday predictions, then you haven't seen me basically get trolled by Diamond Art Club because I predicted that there would be a Mandy Manzano release since we haven't seen one in a long time. I predicted that there would be one for Black Friday. And then within hours, they previewed this one. <laughs> so here it is when i lost you by mandy manzano it is 27.6 by 27.6 inches or 69.9 by 69.9 centimeters it is square drill it has 49 colors with four ab's and four fairy dust there is the original image there is the rendering this one is also coming home with me at some point in time <laughs> I feel like this one goes well with the I Miss You kit by uh, Mandy Manzano. I, that, that one released so long ago. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Let's see if it's on the website still. This one. So this I have and I love. It, it just it evokes a certain emotion. And then, then the title being I Miss You, it just... As a very emotional piece and I was just very drawn to it and I feel the same way about this one. I feel like it would be a, a good companion piece and since I recently um, lost someone, I, I think that the implication here is that it's like a lost love interest. Um, there's, there's maybe a man in the background here or uh, it's definitely a person but I think that we're supposed to assume that it's a man but in the rendering you can't really tell the actual shape of that person so it could be a woman and since I recently lost my grandmother I feel like this would be a great one to do in her memory and and it's beautiful it's beautiful <laughs> look at all the colors and all of the different uh, designs intermixed in here like we have like snowflake looking things and like starburst looking things and just just so much going on and all of the detail in in her dress here i mean mandy manzano has has a particular way and and i like it so <laughs> this one i definitely feel like i don't know if i'm gonna get it on saturday but i will i will have to get this one eventually it is so pretty okay and then this one i can't believe they're doing me like this this week this one they previewed very recently, just a couple of hours ago. This is The Farewell by Claudia McKinney or Fat Puppy Art. It's 29 by 22 inches or 73.7 .7 by 55.6 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 47 colors with one AB and three fairy dust. And I can't. I can't with how pretty that is. And then here's the rendering. It looks like Edward and Bella from Twilight. That was the first thought I had, and I know that other people have said that. Where's, where's the comments? I know that other people have said that. Uh, but you didn't have to make it little. I don't want to do that. I guess I got to do that. Okay. Uh, Black Friday. Some people talking about Black Friday. Somebody say something about Edward and Bella. Oh, no, somebody said something about Johnny Depp. Okay, I see it. I see it. Edward and Bella, yes. <laughs> Catherine and Damon from Vampire Diaries, also accurate. Bella and Edward, Clockwork Angel, I've also read that. Tessa and Will, okay, I'm, uh, I'm really going off into Vampire Diaries. Fangirl territory right now. But yes, all of those things I just read are things that I'm a fan of. <laughs> and I absolutely love this. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. And these are my colors. These are the ones for me these earthy tones lots of browns this is for me this they made it just for me you guys don't buy it don't buy it save it for me so i can buy it for black friday <laughs> i'm just kidding buy it hopefully it will be restocked if it get if it sells out but i love it i love it have i did i not tell facebook did i not announce publicly publicly that i love it now i have love okay <laughs> so 
<laughs> that's all that is released right now. I've got to go to the doctor. I don't want to go to the doctor, but uh, it it's it's gotta it's gotta be done. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I am back. It has been many hours. <laughs> I went to the doctor, and it, it was fine. I have to. I have to have an MRI and I have like, what, what was it called? I don't know, the Roma or something. It's some kind of thing that prevents my surgical incision from healing. So uh, that's unfortunate. But anyway, okay, what are you doing? Come here. I don't even know if they can see you, bub. He has lost his mind. He just stood and barked at a piece of furniture. Now he's in my lap. He wants to get down, but he's being bad. Okay, Nugget, let's look at these. No, you... All right, never mind. He's gone. He's back to barking at the dresser again. Anyways, uh, okay. So I have to refresh this. I think we have gotten two more since I was last here. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, so th this was where I left off. And then this is the next one they released. This is Regrow by You May. It is 22 by 44 inches or 55.8 by 111.5 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 73 colors with four ABs and five fairy dust. Uh, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Okay, that's the original image. There is the rendering. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I love the fox. I love the fishies. And there's so much room for glowy things. Special drills and then a good bit of color blocking it looks like in this little background area up here. But it looks like plenty of confetti down in this area. I love it. I mean, it's you may, so I'm I'm definitely gonna love it. What are you do, What are you doing now? Oh, he's he's chewing on a toy. That's fine. We <laughs> we can allow that. I won't interrupt him. Oh gosh, it's so good. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm moving along. I love this one too. Beta Fish Mermaid by Jamushka. It's 36 by 22 inches or 91.9. God, that's big. 91.9 by 55.6 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 73 colors with two ABs, one iridescent, and six fairy dust. Wow, that's quite a lot of specials. And I realize that this one is also very big. I just didn't comment on it because you may pieces are typically pretty large. Um... But that, this is a 91.9 a centimeter, but it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I have another piece from this artist. What, what was that one called? It was, I, I don't think it was a mermaid. I think it was some kind of fairy, like maybe blueberry fairy is the one that I have. But I love this artist's work. Like, just look at the face here. It's so pretty. And then the rendering, of course. Oh my gosh, the colors, the colors. It's so pretty. Look at this pink fish. Oh, I love it. And I love all these colors in her hair. I love her eyes, how that's rendered. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so tempted. This is, this is so difficult. So difficult. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I want so many of these. I wanted several last week and I want several this week. I would love to have this one. I know I would never finish a You May art piece. I probably, I mean, this is too big. This one's too big for me, but I, I might not be able to resist. I, and this one, I am so in love. I'm so in love with this. I cannot get past it. it at the very least, that's going on the wish list. Love this one. I said I'm definitely getting that at some point. Kim Norlian, beautiful always. Love the pit bull. I, this, this dude, we don't get enough dudes in our <laughs> artwork. I mean, we have uh, Edward up here, who's definite. It's, it's definitely Edward. Um, but he also has a girl, so a, a man starring in his own piece here. And then, oh, our pretty puffy gator and the, this one that I just, I, I, I will own. I will own, maybe not this week, but someday. And this one is gorgeous too. How are we supposed to make these decisions? 
anyway, <laughs> I think that's all of the images for the week. This one does say, yeah, final. Okay, that one does say final. So that's definitely all of them. So these will be releasing tomorrow, November the 23rd. Okay, you guys, I feel like I have a pretty short window of time before Nugget starts barking again. I don't know what has gotten into him tonight. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's roundup. I'm thinking that next week's will be uh, quite the adventure, but we have yet to find out what Diamond Art Club's Black Friday plans are. But hopefully we will know something soon. But for the kits discussed in this video, those are going to release tomorrow morning. That'll be November the 23rd. The release will be at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time. And that is for Diamond and Ruby level rewards members. And then 30 minutes later for the general access release. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up before you leave. And if you want more content from me, please subscribe and I should have another video for you soon. Bye.